Yeah, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about the important terms in accounting. Things that are in accounting one, but they will help us to understand accounting two properly. Yeah, we shall talk about the double entry system. Double entry system is derived from the duality concept, which states that for every transaction in accounting has two effects. Yeah, every transaction in accounting has two effects, one on the debit side and the other on the credit side. Yeah, and that means that for every debit entry, there is a corresponding credit entry. Yeah, and the different elements of the financial statements are affected differently by the double entry system. Yeah, so let's first look at the different elements of the financial statement different elements of financial statements we have the mainly five the actually five we have assets liabilities income capital and then expenses they they are simplified by the formula of alice yeah whereby a is for assets l is for liabilities i is for income c is for capital and then e is for expenses yeah, let's first look at each of them in details. Let's first look at assets. Yeah, let's first look at assets. Assets, we, we have assets are divided into two. First, we have the fixed on and current assets. These these are assets that stay in the in the what? In the business for a period of for for a period of more than one year. Yeah, they stay longer in the business. Fixed assets, also known as non-current assets. Yeah, and non-current assets or fixed assets are also divided into two, which is tangible and then non-tangible fixed assets. Then for tangible fixed assets, we have things like plant, machinery, motor vehicle, building, land, fixtures and fittings, furniture, etc. Then for intangible fixed assets, we have things like software, goodwill, copyright, etc. Then current assets. Current assets refers to those assets that stay in the business for a period of not less than for a period of less than a year. Yeah. So we have things like cash at hand, cash in bank, debt as or receivables, inventory or stock, prepaid prepaid expenses are those expenses that have been paid for but not yet incurred then accrued income accrued income is that income that is earned but not yet received you've worked for it but they haven't given it to you that's what we call accrued income then we go to the next element which is liabilities liabilities refers to that obligation that the business has and liabilities are also divided into two. We have non-current or long-term liabilities. These are li li liabilities that a business has for a period of for a period that is more than one year. And examples we have bank loan and debentures. Then short-term liabilities. Short-term liabilities refers to those those obligations that a business has for a period of less than a year. Yeah, and we have things like bank overdraft, creditors, prepaid income, accrued expenses, etc. Prepaid income is that income that is received but not yet earned. You've received it but you haven't worked for it. Then accrued expenses are those expenses incurred but not yet paid for yeah and then another element we have is capital and under capital we have things like equity retained earnings share premium capital reserves and other things then another element is expenses and under expenses we have things like salaries wages rent discount allowed transport expenses, advertising, electricity, commission paid, and other things. 
Yeah, then the last element is income. And under income, we have things like rent received, commission received, discount received, and other things. Yeah, and note that in double entry system, things like assets and expenses are increased by debiting, while others like income, liabilities, and capital are increased by crediting, as shown below. Yeah. So let's look at the effect of double entry system on the elements of financial statements. Yeah, element effect on the debit side, then effect on the credit side. Uh, then in, in first in case of assets, assets increase by increase by debiting. Yeah, so when May, may, maybe let me say when inventory is purchased, we debit the inventory account. Yeah, we debit the inventory account because it's an asset and it increases by debiting. Maybe when we purchase an asset, we debit the asset account because assets are increasing and assets increase by debiting. Then we, it, it, it decreases by crediting. Yeah, so when you sell an asset, you deb you credit the asset account because assets decrease by crediting. Yeah, maybe when stock is lost, you credit the stock account because stock is an asset and it reduces by crediting. Yeah, so the first element is assets. It increases by debiting and it reduces by crediting. Then the next element is expenses. Expenses also increase by debiting. Expenses, we said we have things like wages, salaries. So in case of payment of wages or salaries, you debit the salaries account because it's an expense and it increases by debiting. And then they decrease by crediting. Yeah. Then the next element is income. Yeah, income is the opposite of assets and expenses. Yeah, the first two increase by debiting, and the last three increase by crediting, and they reduce by debiting. So incomes in case of a decrease in income, we debit. They decrease by debiting. Yeah, and they increase by crediting. Then liabilities. Liabilities, we, we, we said on liabilities, we have things like creditors or payables. Creditors or payables, in case of a decrease in creditors, you debit the creditors account. Yeah, they decrease by debiting. And in case of an increase in creditors, you credit the creditors account because they increase by crediting. Then the last element is capital. In case of a decrease in capital, we debit a capital account. And in case of an increase in capital, we credit the capital account. Yeah, so that's how the double entry system affects the five elements of financial statements. The first two, which is assets and expenses, they increase by debiting and they decrease by crediting. And the last three, reduce by debiting and they increase by crediting. Yeah, so those were the important terms that I wanted us to first look at before we do other things. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Yeah, let's meet in my next video.